This video will take you on a journey to a planet that is hotter than most stars in our universe. It's so hot that any known metal would immediately melt there. Next, we'll visit a vanishing egg-shaped planet that was spotted just at the right time, and the chances of finding such an object are infinitesimally small. With an object as unique as that, it's hard not to stay curious. In 2016, astronomers discovered an unusual planet by the name of Kelt 9b. Being the hottest exoplanet ever discovered, it's so hot that it literally rips apart its atmosphere's hydrogen molecules. What is this mysterious planet like? Let's take a closer look right now. The planet is close to Seder, a bright star in the center of the Northern Cross. It orbits a star called Kelt 9, or HD 195689, about 620 light years away from the Sun in the Cygnus constellation. The star Kelt 9 is only 300 million years old. It is more than twice as large and almost twice as hot as our Sun. The exoplanet orbits its parent star at 4.5 million kilometers. The star's temperature is 9,800 degrees Celsius, and the temperature on the planet itself reaches a whopping 4,300 degrees Celsius. In fact, this is hotter than most stars in the universe. For example, the surface temperature of the red star Antares is only 3,400 degrees Celsius. This is almost 1,000 degrees lower than on the planet Kelt 9b. And keep in mind that red dwarfs constitute about 30 to 50% of all stars. Currently, tungsten is the most refractory metal known to us, with a whopping melting point of 3,422 degrees Celsius. Even this metal would melt on this planet. Using the HARPS North spectrograph, astronomers have found spectral lines corresponding to ionized iron and ionized titanium atoms. These particles can condense on the night side of the planet, forming clouds that can make it rain metal. Being too close to its parent star, Kelt 9b is tidally locked due to gravitational forces, meaning that one side of the planet faces its star at all times. Interestingly, the planet receives 44,000 times more flux from its star than the Earth from the Sun. Scientists would expect the planet to have a smaller radius, but the extreme radiation from its host star has caused the planet's atmosphere to puff up like a balloon. The planet is 2.88 times heavier than Jupiter, and it's 1.8 times larger than Jupiter. Given that the planet's atmosphere is constantly blasted with high levels of ultraviolet radiation, the planet may even be shedding a tail of evaporated planetary material like a comet. The temperature on Kelt 9b is so high that the hydrogen gas molecules split into pieces on its day side and cannot reunite until their scattered atoms cross over to the night side of the planet. The night side cools down the hydrogen gas molecules just enough to make them recover. But as they return to the day side again, they split apart once more and the cycle continues. There's one more peculiar feature that makes this planet truly unique, and that is its orbit. Unlike other planets that orbit the equatorial region of their parent star, it actually orbits the polar region. In other words, this planet is tilted in such a way that it has a polar orbit. But no one can explain why this planet came to have such an unusual orbital motion in the first place. As if this wasn't enough, its host star is an oddity too. The primary, Kelt 9, is roughly twice the size of the Sun, 56% hotter, and spins 38 times as fast. That makes for a complete stellar rotation in 16 hours. As you would imagine, the rapid spin causes the star to deform, flattening at the poles and broadening at the equator. As a result, we run into the phenomenon known as gravity darkening. The poles brighten 
as the equatorial region cools and dims by comparison. As a result, the temperature at the equator will be much lower than that at the poles. We are talking about 800 degrees difference. Such high temperature contrast creates very interesting effects. The planet orbits directly above both poles of the star. Just imagine, with KELT 9b's orbital period of 36 hours, the planet goes through two summers and two winters, and each season lasts about nine hours. This sequence illustrates a year as experienced by KELT 9b. Because of the temperature differential on the surface of the star, the planet experiences an unusual kind of seasonality – hotter over the poles, colder over the star's equator. Over the course of a single orbit, the planet twice experiences cycles of heating and cooling caused by the star's unusual pattern of surface temperatures. The next planet on our virtual journey is doomed to vanish in the next 10 million years. The planet is WASP-12b, a hot Jupiter of the most extreme kind. It is an ultra-hot, orange gas giant that is 1.5 times heavier than Jupiter. The planet was discovered in 2008 by the transit method. WASP-12b is located about 1,400 light-years from Earth in the Auriga constellation. The planet is about 3.6 million kilometers away from its parent star. To get a feel for this distance, let's see how close Mercury is to our Sun. The average distance from Mercury to the Sun is 57 million kilometers. That is almost 16 times the distance from WASP-12b to its star. Now, let's imagine we reduce stars and planets in scale. If the Sun were to be the size of a regular basketball, then this exoplanet would be 61 centimeters away from it, and Mercury almost 10 meters away. Keep in mind that this is the closest planet to the Sun. With an orbital period of just 1.1 days, WASP-12b is so close to its parent star that daytime temperatures reach 2,540 degrees Celsius, or 2,810 Kelvin. Its atmosphere swells up to three times the radius of Jupiter and spills matter onto its star. Sadly, the planet is doomed to die, as if devoured by its parent star. The extreme gravity is stretching the hot gas giant into the shape of an egg, all the while slowly cannibalizing the planet. Relatively soon, 10 million years, a fleeting moment in space-time, this planet will be completely devoured by its hungry star. If you enjoy watching the world fall to pieces, then this planet is for you. This is especially interesting, taking into account that something similar might have happened in our solar system. Some researchers believe that several planets have vanished from our system, but there's no way to tell where. Being so close to its star, the planet creates yet another interesting effect. Unlike most planets, it's not round, but rather egg-shaped. Since WASP-12b is 1.5 times heavier than Jupiter, but is almost two times larger, it has one of the lowest densities ever found. It is so low that the gravity on its surface is comparable to ours, being about 10 to 15 percent higher than on Earth. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has observed a planet outside our solar system that looks as black as fresh asphalt because it eats light rather than reflecting it back into space. This light-eating prowess is due to the planet's unique capability to trap at least 98% of visible starlight falling into its atmosphere. The planet's atmosphere is so hot that most molecules are unable to survive on the blistering day side of the planet. Therefore, clouds probably cannot form to reflect light back into space. Instead, Incoming light penetrates deep into the planet's atmosphere, where it is absorbed by hydrogen atoms and converted to heat energy. Hydrogen molecules are broken into atomic hydrogen, 
while alkali metals are ionized. The atmosphere resembles that of a low-mass star instead of a planet, composed of atomic hydrogen and helium. Using Hubble's Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph, the international team that produced this result, led by Taylor Bell, has now measured an albedo of 0.064 at most, two times less reflective than our moon. But bear in mind that this planet's proximity to its host star keeps it tidally locked, with one side always facing the star and the other always turned to space. That drops nightside temperatures to well over 1,000 degrees Celsius cooler so that molecules can survive, producing possible clouds and hazes in the atmosphere. Previous Hubble observations of the day-night boundary detected evidence of water vapor and possibly clouds and hazes in the atmosphere. This was just one part of our journey. Share what planet you think is the most interesting in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button so we can see how many space lovers are out there.